All right, back in the basement again today. I want to give you guys some early impressions of these A7 rigor mortis knee sleeves, which just released today at the surprising price of a hundred bucks. So surprising because take a look at the other sleeves on the market that are like this style, this really heavy, stiff neoprene. You have something like the Iron Rebels, which retail for $139 with free shipping, or we have the Inzer Ergo Pros, which retail for $135 plus shipping, which usually leads to them being around $150 or $160, depending on where you get them. So worked up to a heavy triple on squats today at 500 pounds. These performed really well and kind of in line with these other sleeves. There's nothing necessarily groundbreaking about these sleeves compared to these other ones, except a few really slight design changes. Namely, this is an hourglass type sleeve. So it might be hard to see on the video. I'll try to get some good shots of it, but basically it contours in on both sides to the back of your leg. That's a little bit different than something like the Inzers, which just kind of contour one way in the back, or the Iron Rebels, which are more of your traditional, just tapering from top to bottom. Now, personally speaking, I found that this style of sleeve works best for me because if you haven't noticed already, my calves are not the biggest. They're big, but they're not the biggest. And the problem is, is with sleeves like these two, which taper out or flare out a little bit towards the bottom, is I find I can't fill them out as much, which means the knee sleeves tend to fall down just a little bit. Now there are ways around this, and I found that sizing down can help. The problem then becomes though with these sleeves, as you've already noted, if you've tried any of them before is, it's really hard to get them on and off. So you gotta kind of pick and choose where you sacrifice from. Now with these particular A7s, I went with my true to fit size, which in this case is a large, and they did slide down a little bit, specifically on my left leg even more, which is nice because that means my left leg is easier to get off when it comes to that. But I did find that these slide down some. However, there is an easy fix, and that is you just adjust them when you need to. However, it is a little bit annoying, and it's something that I experienced when I sized correctly with the Inzers and not using the way too small size small inserts, which surprisingly are still, when you compare the three of these sleeves, they have the most material. So they're the smallest size I have, but the most material. Speaking of material and when I weigh these things, interestingly enough, the A7s come out to be the heaviest or just on par with the inserts in some cases, depending on where I put it on my scale. But on average, it ends up being slightly heavier than the inserts, which is really interesting to see. And of course, the Iron Rebels being that they are the least amount of material, no surprise, weigh the least amount. But all three of these really heavy duty, all three interesting price points with the A7 ones, again, coming in at 100 bucks and being available as of right now. I've also been talking to Cerberus Strength. They reached out after I posted something on my stories on Instagram the other day about these sleeves, saying they're coming out with their own as well. They're gonna be priced at around, I think, $129. So kind of in between the ones that I'm showing you here. But overall, the sleeve performed really well. Like I've mentioned, I really like A7. They have a whole bunch of different stiffness levels of knee sleeves if you're interested. This is the King Daddy Rigor Mortis, if you will, the stiffest that you can find. And even though these will definitely, probably, maybe, I think give you a little bit on your squat. They are not fun to wear and I can kind of have my hamstrings and back of my knees to attest to that. But for most people looking at sleeves, trying to get the most out of their squat that they can, these could be a very good option. So check them out if you're interested and I'll continue to give you updates as I continue to wear them and all three of these sleeves and eventually I'll probably pick which one I like best. Leave whatever comments or questions you have in the comment section below. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.